Hey, hey, party people. Welcome to Rachel Rogers TV. I'm Rachel Rogers, and today I want to talk to you about building a competitive edge for your business. In today's marketplace, it is so overcrowded in so many different industries that it can feel like it is really hard to create a standout brand that is not sort of thrown in the muck and the mire of all the brands that are out there. Today, I want to talk to you about how simple it can be to build a very strong brand and a brand that stands out in the marketplace and attracts your ideal customers. So we all spend a lot of time looking around, reading blog posts, watching videos like this, uh, checking out newsletters, and trying to find that competitive edge for our businesses. And the interesting thing is that it's not an external thing that you can find out there somewhere um, that you're going to find the answer to in some article. The key to finding your competitive edge is actually within you, okay? It's as simple as asking a very simple question, which is, why? Why are you in business anyway? Why did you start this business? What is it about this particular problem that your business solves that has got you all riled up and that made you even start a business to do it? Why do you care about the people that you serve and the problem that they're dealing with that you solve? The answer to that question is how you stand out in the marketplace. In fact, the answer to that question is exactly what's gonna turn your customers into raving fans begging you to take their money. As Simon Sinek said in his great TEDx talk, the beliefs and values of your business are why people will follow you, pay attention to what you're doing, and why they will buy from you. So let's look at two examples of a web design firm and how you can express your beliefs in your brand and how that can create a competitive edge. So in the first example, here's how the company is described. We sell web design and have many years of experience at the most well-regarded New York agencies, and our clients love us and will make everything you do look pretty. What do you think about that company? Does it excite you? Does it make you want to purchase from them? Yes, they're telling you about what they do. Yes, they're telling you about their experience. But does that like pull at your heartstrings or just get you excited and make your heart flutter? Okay? <laughs> it may seem like a silly question, but let's look at the second example. We believe that small businesses have big ideas that can change the world. We believe that great design is not a nice to have, but a necessary element of communication. Without great design, the big ideas of small businesses will not be heard. We're here to make sure you are heard and that your big ideas have a big impact on the world. Now that is a description to get excited about, okay? Not only are they telling you the skills that they have, but they're also telling you who they serve and why they serve them. They're telling you what they believe. And it puts you in a position where you can decide if you believe the same thing as a potential customer of theirs. And if you do, you will become a customer and you'll be a loyal customer and probably for life. So how can you get in touch with your why and express it to your customers in a way that gets them so excited to work with you in a way like that second example did? Well, here is a framework for you to do so. Step one is ponder your why. You might wanna go for a drive or take a walk, but you really wanna spend some time considering why you've built this business, why you're excited about serving the customers that you serve, and what your business stands for and what it believes. Now, once you ask yourself why, you might have a really basic answer, like, because small businesses struggle with social media, and so I wanna make it easier for them. But ask why again? Why do you wanna make it easier? Why do you care? Keep drilling it down until your heart starts fluttering. When your heart starts beating fast, that's when you know you've got the right answer. Now, the second step is just to simply write it down. That's it, just write down your answer. Step three is where the magic happens. This is where you're going to edit what you've written so far into an articulable set of beliefs. It could be a mission statement or it could just be a list of what your company stands for. This is something that you'll then want to put on your website, you'll want to share it with your team and share it with your customers. You wanna put your why out into the world. Start with why and you will gain a competitive edge for your business that will keep you set apart from the crowd and make your customers raving fans for life. So that's all I have for you today, folks. Thank you so much for watching Rachel Rogers TV. If you enjoyed this video, please share it with a friend. Knowledge is power. And if you never want to miss an episode of Rachel Rogers TV, please use the subscriber boxes below to subscribe. It's just like DVR. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.